Good morning. Glad you could join us today. Genesis 6, 5. Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Verse 8. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Matthew 24, 37 but as the days of Noah were, so also will be the coming of the Son of Man. In Matthew 24, 12, 13, And because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold, but the one who endures to the end will be saved. Our nation is in the grip of a spiritual battle, a battle against the forces of darkness, and we need to use spiritual weapons, beginning with prayer. We need to pray for divine intervention and a spiritual awakening in our nation. Isaiah 64, 1. Oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you would come down, that the mountains might shake at your presence. We need the mighty presence of God to come down on America. When the mighty presence of God comes, it changes everything. Spiritual darkness flees before his presence. Miracles happen. Lives are changed. All because the glory of the Lord comes down. All because his people waited on him. Let's pray. Lord, we need your presence to come down over America. Things look very dark. Wickedness is abounding but you have positioned your church, your remnant is ready to receive your glory. We have been seeking your presence. Let your presence come to us in a new way. Fill us with your glory. Fill our homes with your glory as we cry out to you from there. Fill our churches with your glory as we seek you together from there. Let your glory flow out and all around us. Flood it over our families, our communities, our nation. Let the glory of the Lord be seen and felt in our land. Let the lost be drawn to your glory. Let spiritual darkness flee and captives be set free as your glory comes down and fills our land. Let the sick be healed in your glory. Let your church be filled and restored in your glory. Our eyes are on you, Jesus, as we pray in your mighty name. Amen.